guys, it's Kendra. So today I'm doing my video a little bit different. It's gonna be a what I eat in a day, but it's going to be throughout the week. So I have been filming different dinners that I've been making, lunches, just different ideas on things to cook with Alan Evan. Yes. <laughs> um, so we're, we don't have an oven or a stove right now. So it's been very interesting. I have to get creative. So I've been doing a lot of crock pot meals and just stuff in the fridge microwave so i'll give you some ideas if you guys are going through a kitchen renovation like we are or if you just want some ideas for meals so i hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get started all right so first step on the menu is going to be crock pot spaghetti which is so bizarre to me so i just put in some ground beef i'm gonna kind of mash that up in there and then add some garlic okay here's the recipe on pinterest that i found so it says to cook the ground beef until browned with the onion, but I don't have a stove to do that. Uh, we do have on our grill outside, I have one burner, but I just feel like not doing that right now. So I'm gonna do on high for three hours and then I'll mix in, whoops. And then you turn your cooker to high and add your pasta. It says when you're doing spaghetti that you need to stir it every five minutes or so. But if you're doing like a penne, uh, like a baked ziti, then you don't have to stir it. So I'll add that. And I don't have like all the ingredients for this. I'm just gonna use uh, my pasta sauce that I typically use. I think Kyla's eating all their veggie straws right now. Um, let's see what we have. I'll do the tomato basil marinara, but I think any would be good. So I'll be adding that along with some mozzarella cheese, which we do have regular diced tomatoes would be good or a little tomato paste, probably. I'll link this recipe down below for you guys, but we're keeping it very basic today. So I'm gonna mix this all up with some done so i'm gonna let it go for like 30 more minutes i added some mozzarella cheese and parmesan i'm gonna mix this all together and just let it actually i'll leave the cheese on top and just let it kind of sit guys i'm so impressed with this pasta how cool you can just cook it all in the crock pot so here is it all done and you can kind of just tell when the noodles look a lot softer but very impressed. I would change one thing. I would add the spinach a little bit later, but other than that, it looks so good. And yeah, let me know if you guys have ever done spaghetti or any type of pasta in a crock pot. All right, tonight we are making chicken burrito bowls back in the crock pot. So the only thing is, I don't know if this is gonna cook in time. We will see. Okay, so in here I have chicken tenders. Yeah, they're not chicken breasts, they're a little thinner, so they should cook a little bit faster. I topped it with chicken broth, and then I did half of a thing of salsa. This from Ralph's, the Simple Truth Organic kind, and it looks really, really yummy. And then as far as seasonings, I did cumin. This is a cracker. It's broken? Okay, you can throw it away. Some chili powder, some salt, and pepper. And I have that at high because I want it to cook faster. 
So it's been cooking for an hour and now I'm gonna keep it covered. I don't know how long this is gonna take. We will see. I did not time this one well. I'm used to making dinner around like four for everybody. So I'm not used to woo, having to account for a slower cook time. Got a wee, but I'm gonna shred up that chicken and I just might have a late dinner. And then I will do sour cream and cheese on top. I got shredded lettuce so we can just make little bowls. Oh, and I'm also gonna add some black beans to it too. The recipe said to put the black beans and corn in it together like after you cook the chicken for a while. And I just don't have corn, I don't know why. I always have corn. But I thought this was just an easy thing that I can do like once a week. Just throw the chicken in with some salsa, spices, and call it a day and add whatever toppings we have. I also have um, avocado too. So something that we've been doing a lot is rice and beans with cheese because you can microwave all of that and Owen absolutely loves it. This is actually from Rubio's. We got takeout and I just saved it. Ooh, yeah. But this is easy to make at home too. Okay, I just added in a can of black beans. If you had corn, I would do a can of corn at this point too. So it's been cooking now for an hour and a half and the chicken actually is almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna assemble the bowls for myself and Andrew. It's gonna be a little tricky doing this with one hand. Okay, it looks really, really good. I just used a two forks to shred the chicken a little bit. Obviously you could do it a little bit more than this. Okay, this looks so good. So I added some shredded lettuce on top, sour cream, these crunchy little, they're gluten-free too, tortilla strips from Ralph's. Um, this is the cheese I used. I put that right on top of the chicken so it melts quick and then that's the iceberg lettuce. Okay, this string cheese was in this bag. I'm really hoping that the girls put this in there. Would it just be in here? Like, I'm so confused right now. Okay, and then I cut up an avocado, so I did half of an avocado on each one. And then I'm gonna top it with a little bit more salsa because I think it needs a little bit. But that is gonna be our dinner. So good, I could eat this honestly every single night. I wanna show you guys a very easy meal. This will be two meals. Some pasta and avocado toast that I've been making a lot that we just need the microwave for and a toaster. So this is the pasta I've been making, the Annie's. You just fill it with water, put it in the microwave, and then a little cheese. So super easy. And then we've been doing avocado toast with the toaster. This is the Trader Joe's spreaded wheat bread. I do the avocado on top and a little bit of the everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Pretty good over there. All right, next up we have a smoothie. So I do, lately I've been doing coconut water. Sometimes I do almond milk. It just depends on what I'm going for. Some organic frozen mango and some frozen kale. I buy this fresh usually and then put it in a freezer bag. And then I did one pack of the acai, the freezer packs from Trader Joe's and a half of a banana to sweeten it up because when you do the acai pack, it's not sweetened. So you need something to make it a little bit more creamy. I don't have yogurt right now. I have pumpkin yogurt and that would not taste good this. So we're gonna do no pumpkin it'll or no yogurt. It'll be a little bit more like slushy rather than creamy. And then the last thing that I added was oh, an ice and then this Mary Ruth's liquid morning multivitamin. So I just pour some of this in for both me and the girls. It just has so many good essential vitamins in here. But this is a brand where I get all of my digestive enzymes, like my gluten enzymes. They also have really good immune support, like elderberry flower and a lot of things like that. So I'll put a link down below for you guys. And then after I give the girls their smoothie, I always add myself, I think we have protein powders with some pumpkin stuff. I add some type of supplement, so whether that's Collagen, these, everything we have is covered in the dust from all the renovations. I usually do some type of collagen or protein, something. But I've been loving Spirulina. It's really good at helping with your digestion. I've been really into like detox products just to help cleanse my system. And just so I feel better. I feel like gut health is so important. So I'm really all about taking supplements for that right now. All right, for lunch, I'm having leftovers. So we had some of that chicken leftover with the 
black beans. So I added that to some corn tortillas with some cheese on top and shredded lettuce. So just another way you can prepare this rather than just a like chicken burrito bowl, but so, so good. And Andrew loved the meal last night. All right, tonight for dinner, we have salad and Andrew's making a steak out on the grill. So I did some baby spring mix with crumbled blue cheese. I'm obsessed with blue cheese. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. Some raw pine nuts. These are from Trader Joe's. They last me a long time. They are kind of pricey. It's like 10 bucks for this bag, but I keep these in the fridge and they last me a really, really long time. And then this cilantro dressing is really good. It's like a creamier type of dressing. And then some dried cranberries. And also I always use salt and pepper on my salads. It makes it taste so much better. It's like finishes off the salad, at least pepper. But even, I think my mom was the one who told me to always salt and pepper your salads and it makes it taste so much better. Oh, and also I did half of an avocado. And then the girls are eating leftover mac and cheese and a little peach. And what else did I give you? What else did I give? Oh, turkey. Do you girls want more turkey? Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. um, they love like deli meat turkey. So that's been a go-to. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> that's just what I do. Remember, and then I post it so people can see ideas. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I know it was a little different, but I wanted to just kind of give you like a taste of what we've been doing lately at our house. So thank you for watching. If you guys are new, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I upload two times every week and I would love to have you here. But that is it for today. So I will talk to you guys very soon.